Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part, we completed all of the regular missions in this game outside of the purple, the purple comets, which is what we're doing this part. It's all purple coins. We beat it, if though. You we beat the didn't game. watch the last part to all the way through the end, just know we haven't actually shown off the Bowser fight. Final boss. Go. But also, if you're watching this part before the last one, go watch that one, please. No. Alright. Go fucking watch that video right now, you dumb piece of shit. Okay. Is, is that better? Yeah. Okay, thanks. I'll listen to that. <laughs> Oh, uh, but anyway. you don't have to shout at me! <laughs> I, uh... Don't think I ever really explained, uh, how the purple comets work, but I mean, it's- you collect a hundred purple coins, that's how it works. What? In- I will say, in some of them, it- there are different forms of the purple coin missions in this game. Some of them are timed, some of them aren't. In some of them, there's exactly a hundred coins. In some of them, there's more than a hundred coins. Jack, I have a question. And, yeah. I don't want... I don't mean this as an offense, either. I literally what? want you to just tell the audience. Yeah. What makes these purple coin missions more manageable and desirable to do than the blue coins in Sunshine, considering you did not do all of those, but you did do all the purple coins here? Uh, because they're, like, individual levels, and they're, like, condensed and easy to access, whereas the blue coins are spread out all the fucking, like, first of all, there's 240 of them in the game, and, like, yeah, there's 100 purple coins per level in Galaxy, but they're also condensed into individual levels instead of spread out over the entire open world of this game. Okay. Not that this game has an open world like Sunshine does, or, well, quote-unquote open world, but, like, it's slightly less condensed than Mario Galaxy is. But, no, I mean, like, these are just, like, fun individual challenges where you have to collect, you know, like, in this level, 100 purple coins before the time runs out. Instead of, like, oh, this fucking... If you spray this bird, he has a blue coin. But, like... And, and there's, like, a million of those, and they're super spread out and hard to find. Uh, you can just say that you don't like me. That's fine. I don't quite understand, quite frankly. Because I you, want you. Have you, one, have you 100 percent at Sunshine Landon? Jack, what yes. do I look like? Uh, I don't know what you look like right now because I, I'm watching the video and not a picture of you. You should watch a picture of me. Okay. First and then off. you look like someone you, who wants to sell me like, something. You look like someone who plays an awful lot of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. You know, he really what? does. He just, he gives off that kind of vibe. Well, thankfully, today's sponsor... Oh, Is sorry. I was too busy playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle to finish that statement. I, I see. I thought you were going to subvert the joke and say that it was sponsored by Tillamook. I was thinking that, too. That was the other option in my head. Nah, he's gotta go to the dark side. He's gotta be like, today's sponsor is Naruto. Why? I don't even know what the Naruto mobile he's going app is. To the dark side. Besides, I should just beat the old well. Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yeah. I mean, that's the classic. Yeah. Tell me about this level, Jack. Uh, the Honey Hive's purple coins, uh, they're all just kind of spread out over the entire level. And you just gotta find them all. There's no time limit, so... I don't you know, want to do that. The challenge is just finding where they are, because they're kind of okay. everywhere. And in this one, there are exactly 100 coins, and not more than 100. Oh. 
So uh, this is, this, we're gonna be here for a minute. So uh, how long? How long? You is... missed that one purple coin over there. Uh, no, because this level is just big. Oh, okay. Um, and there's not too much to say, honestly. How was your guys' day? I worked. So terrible. Me too. I didn't. Asshole. <laughs> well, yeah, you were Sorry. playing Super Mario Galaxy. I was actually... I mean, I played a little bit of it today. Uh, I played most of it last night, though. Um, today, I, f I did a lot today. I mowed my lawn. What? Uh, I went to the store to buy groceries. Uh, I went to my parents' house for Father's Day. We got pizza. I didn't get pizza. Jack, go to the store and get me pizza. Uh, the stores are closed, Landon. Jack. What? Go to the store. My cat didn't get me anything for Father's Day. I'm upset. <laughs> yeah, Momo didn't get me shit. Guys, what the fuck, you know, Momo? You know what we should have done for Father's Day? What? Got an, a Luigi board and contacted... Uh, our dead relatives. <laughs> like your dad? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, my dad's not dead, but I haven't talked to him in years. That's why I said dead relatives. I mean, I guess I could talk to my, my, I mean, all of my grandparents are dead, so. There we go. We can talk That's to something. one of your grandfathers. That would be actually cool. Do you think they would just try to sell us on Tillamook uh, <laughs> creamery product? You know, that would have been a really good segue after I made the joke about it feels like someone wants to sell me something. <laughs> just been like, yeah, we want to sell you today's sponsor, Tillamook Frozen Custard. See, if we talk to Landon's dad, he wouldn't try to sell us on Tillamook. He would try to tell us to go to the store to get him Tillamook. <laughs> By yeah. the way, why are you not at the store getting me that pizza? You <laughs> gave me some lame-ass excuse earlier. <laughs> like, that the stores are closed. Come on, man. The, the stores and then, and then are would, closed. And then he would hear my voice and he'd be like, Is that that storm kid? Is that that flower kid? <laughs> Uh. Never forget. Never forget. <laughs> the, p the brief period that I went by Lunar Wing Storm in honor of your dad. I just remember that time he said, why doesn't he call himself something like Flower? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Like, you know, I don't know. Was this necessary, Jack? Uh, not exactly. But I you wanted to do wanted it. You just wanted to prove you could do it. I just wanted to prove I could do it. He's got the hey. platforming kahunas. I will say, if you were gonna do it in any level, at least the music to this is, you know, very shenanigans soundy. It's not marimba. It's very, very, uh... Like... I don't know. Music for goofing around. Music for silly little guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, we uh, do not have the access to the bee suit in this level, so but we cannot reach our silly little guy potential. What if we had the spring suit? God, if only. Spring. Maximum silly little guy potential. <laughs> yes. Honestly, I fucking wish. Why can't the spring why can't the spring just be in every level? Yeah, for real though. Did that because thing just get mad or did good. there actually was there actually a shockwave that turned it over? Uh it's mad now. But it, it, the like, shockwave was because I ground pounded. Well no, that's what I was asking was was there a shockwave? Because it was like upside down and I was like I, I mean, yeah, wave. I mean, yeah, it got, like, flipped, because I... 
I thought that there was a possibility it might have just, like, turned itself over to, like, whine and, like, cry on the floor because it was mad. No, it's, that wiggler's not me. <laughs> that, that's Landon is that, flailing is on the it, floor on his back. That Landon when he doesn't get his telemuck. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, that's a long see jump. I now. Uh, uh, we got it. Hell yeah. Nope, come on Mario. There we go. They really do put them, like, everywhere in this level. Including some places that we didn't have access to before. Oh, hey, hey, here it's we are. Hey, it's, it's this part that I could have just, like, gotten them normally. But I didn't have to. I got what them if, the weird way. Non-linear gameplay. What if the cursor um, was able to pick up the purple coins? Uh, that would be pretty broken, especially in the, when we get to the Toy Time Galaxy, uh, purple coins. That would make the level baby easy. Maybe that's what I want. I mean, it is a very, very hard level. Landon did say that he flails around on his back when he doesn't get Tillamook frozen custard, so maybe he just wanted a baby thing for once in a video game. Wait. <laughs> He's baby. I'm baby. Baby from Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah. From Dragon Ball GT. That's what I was gonna yeah. say too. I'm gonna uh, take He's over your body. He's actually super baby Vegeta too. <laughs> That's what happens when he doesn't get Mike's heart lemonade. <laughs> He loses his eyebrows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what happens. He shaves off his him. eyebrows in a fit of rage. And then he puts in these, like, blue contacts that cover all of his eye. And then I put, like, uh, wings on my back. And just wear a big black spandex suit that goes all the way from, like, neck to toe. Yes. Amazing. What will you do now? Uh, probably you look like destroy this. Earth. Oh, okay. He's gonna turn into a giant monkey. Yeah, that's gonna be my next step. Turn into a giant monkey and destroy Earth. Because of my tragic backstory. Oh, hey, I cut, you cut because I, I cut because I got lost trying to find the last three coins. They're right here. I knew they were up there. You found it. Just asked me. You found it. I found it. I didn't see them initially. I started getting reckless with my jumping, and then I remembered. Oh wait, if I die, I have to start this level from the beginning. Oh, that would have been the badass. Mario game when we hunt down Koroks. Um, hopefully never. Hopefully it came out yesterday. I'm gonna go check. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nintendo really Shadow dropped a game, a Mario game with Koroks in it. That's what hey, was taking well, them, like, the last six years after Super Mario Odyssey. Welcome to the game store. What are you looking for? Uh, yeah. I want a copy of the Mario game with the Koroks in it. Oh, okay. That's 80 bucks. Oh, okay. Uh, here you go. Wait a minute. Oh, nice. <laughs> game what? prices aren't nice round numbers like that. They are when I'm I mean, in charge. <laughs> they they are when you live in a state that doesn't have sales tax. Not even then. There, if you there, it's like fifth. It would it would be seventy nine ninety nine. But no, I are was trying assuming? to comically miss the point about the fact that he was overcharging past market retail price. Are you assuming I give people their pennies? No. Do you? Yeah, actually, <laughs> I am. <laughs> 
Uh oh. It's a good joke. The penny should not exist. Yeah. It is my goal to eradicate the penny. Honestly, I, the whole uh, the whole concept of like stuff costing ninety nine cents was literally just a marketing ploy to make it seem like the thing was cheaper than it is, but it really is not. Because my, it looks so, like it's cheaper to put something at one ninety nine than it is two dollars. How about they just like price? Why don't people just price things to counteract sales tax? You know, like if you want to buy a soda that uh, costs two fifty, price it they, at two thirty four. So here's the so deal: that it's they can't, they can't even. do that because there's fifty states, Jack. I know, but like, why can't all states agree that that's a fucking st stupid idea? Sales tax. Uh, no, I just. That would I mean, yes, this, but so one that would require the state to handle pricing everything individually like that, and that's not something that they would, any state I think would be willing to undertake. I mean, yes, it, it would be nice to not have sales tax, but I just mean like the ninety-nine cent thing is stupid. No, I agree. I'm just saying that the methods to like counteract that would be so much more work than it p could possibly ever be worth so yeah oh this is another uh one that's like baby easy really We've been but talking if you miss one then you're dead i mean yeah if you do miss one then you're pretty fucked but like it's not very hard to get all of them i did this one on my first try it looks harder than it probably is, then. Because it looks tricky. It's not that bad. As what long if, as you stick to the path. What if we had to do that bomb debris minigame to get 100 purple coins? Oh my god. <laughs> if only. What if for one then of the purple coin good. missions, you had to- they dropped you into Telfino Plaza? That would be sick, actually. And you had to collect all 285 million blue coins. Oh my god, that would be... Never mind, I don't want this. <laughs> Thank you, Landon, for ruining it. You're welcome. We just that's, fucked over Super job. Mario Galaxy for Jack. Super Mario Galaxy has become his least favorite. Wow. Jack's Purple entering Comet. his villain arc. His favorite 3D Mario game is Super Mario 64. Oh no. Purple coins in the bone pen. Oh my god, it's Spookfest again. Look at all this anime meat. Too bad Spookfest is dead. Who says? I just did. Wow. Rude. That's very harmful. But, an but, but anyway, uh, this is one where you have to collect 150. Or, no, excuse me. You you have to collect 100, but there's 150 available to you. Uh, you are timed, though, and you need to kind of get a move on and collect as many as you can because you, you have a minute to do it. It, there's no way to like extend the time. Nope. You've won. Time extended. This is tricky. It is a little bit. I did kind of waste a little bit of time at the beginning because I didn't realize right away that there was a time limit. And I'm like, oh god, I have 45 seconds left. Oh god, I have Ooh. 10 seconds oh, left. Oh, nice save. Ooh, Jack, you're, you're scaring me. Oh, three seconds to spare, dude. Yeah, but um, you still have to get the star with the timer ticking down. Oh. Yeah. That's fucked. <laughs> the fact yeah. that that's part of the timer, that is, that is rude. Yeah, but also, like, I was wasting time, so. Yeah, but even then, like, that is sinister. Seems like good gameplay to me. God, like, just wait and just wait until the next part. Oh no. 
where something extremely similar happens. But I won't spoil. Ow. You just did. You just told us something. something's going to happen. Yes, something will happen in that. the next part. I won't say what. I can't but believe something. that an event is going to occur. I know. In a Can you I believe it. it? I hate it Did when you? events occur. Did you know? <laughs> Did you know? See, I am smarter with my time on this one, except the anime meat is trying to fuck me. Well, that's, that's just what happens with anime meat. So yeah, just make sure that you, like, get your hundredth coin, like, pretty close to the middle. And then you're good. We call that a pro-gamer move. Anyway, next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we're gonna collect some more purple coins. Can you believe it? Can we finish that next time? Uh, we'll see. Okay.